Hey guys, so it is Thursday, March 3rd. I am about to go and get my first ever facial peel. As of right now, I have on no makeup or anything. I'm going to the lovely lady who does my facials. Her name is Healy. She is incredible. I've had many facials with her and she told me that it would be a really good idea to get a facial peel. So that is what I'm going to do today. The goal is for it to get rid of all of my acne scars. It basically leaves you with a new layer of skin. Right now, most of the things on my face are scars and not active breakouts. I have like one on my forehead, but for the most part, everything on my face is an acne scar and I really want to get rid of them. This is what the facial peel is hopefully going to do. Getting an herbal facial peel, it's not the most extreme one. She said that it's It'll be good for my teen skin. I don't know a ton about the herbal facial peel. I'll leave a link to her website down below and you can check out her products and read more about facial peels. I'm super, super excited. She told me that it should be about a five day process. So I'm going in today and then over the weekend, my face is going to be peeling. I am going to be filming this entire experience for you guys. I'm super excited. This is definitely worth it for me. It is a little pricey, but I want to take care of my skin, I want nice skin, and so that is hopefully what the facial peel is going to do. I'm fresh out of my facial peel, and as you can see, I'm pretty red. I just wanted to talk to you about what it feels like. I got an herbal facial peel, so everything is natural. Most, she told me that most um, ingredients come from the Dead Sea, which is really cool. So, this thing is <laughs> painful. It's day two. It's late. I kind of forgot to film this, but this is my face. Like, it's kind of red, but it's not as bad as it was yesterday. Um, it doesn't really feel like glass anymore but um, I, it's tight. I can feel that it's like gonna start peeling. It has gotten like dry in some places where I can see that it's gonna start peeling. Tomorrow I should start peeling, so we'll see. <laughs> so it's day three, it's Saturday, and this is what my face looks like. It's still kind of red. It feels very dry. The All the stinging has gone away. It doesn't hurt anymore when I touch it. Starting to peel around here. But that's pretty much the only spot that has started to peel. But I know that as the day goes on, it's probably going to start peeling a bit more. And tomorrow is going to be a full-on reptile. I have my eyebrows filled in, so I feel a little bit better. Um, I am actually going to a party tonight looking like this, but... Oh well, my face feels so dry. It's driving me crazy and it's like a little bit itchy because it's dry and all I want to do is like slab moisturizer on and I can't. So yes. At night I'm allowed to use a toner with like a light cotton pad and then I can put on a little bit of lotion but during the day all I'm allowed to do is put on like this tinted SPF but it's actually too dark for my skin. So I don't want to wear it because it makes me look orange. That is the update for today. If anything else changes, I'll let you guys know. Okay, it's later in the night. As you can see, it's really starting to peel. The peel is in full effect. Um, it is Sunday night. I didn't really film earlier, but this is pretty much what I looked like the entire day. So it was really fun. Saw a movie, went out to sushi, so everyone saw me looking crusty like this but what can you do so tomorrow i will be going in for her to clean all this off my face like i said i'm not allowed to get it wet i'm not allowed to wash my face i'm so ready for all of this to be off my face it's itchy it's annoying and it's just plain old gross it's peeling in just these three spots i mean like a little bit on my chin Maybe a tiny bit around my nose. Hello, good morning. It is Monday. I'm about to go get my face cleaned off, get rid of all of the skin, and see the results of my peel. And I am so excited. I just wanted to do a quick overview of my face one more time. My nose started to peel some more overnight, but for the most part, it's looking the same. Pretty nasty. I am... Like, I can't even tell you how excited I am to 
get this skin off of my face and be able to get my face wet and wash it and like all of that stuff so yes i'm so excited my hair looks ridiculous i really need to like shower but here i am post peel um i'm a little tiny bit red because she did like a little bit of extractions and she said for the next couple of days i may peel like a tiny bit more but nothing <laughs> like my face looked before we got a ton of the scars lifted i mean Obviously, it's not like a hundred percent better. She said that um, I need to do one more peel and my skin should look like amazing. So I have to wait 28 days because that is when you get every 28 days you get a new layer of skin. Next month I'll be getting another peel and I'll let you guys know how it goes. I probably won't make another whole video on it but I will keep you guys updated after the peel so you can see how it looks. But I think overall it looks really good. Like I think my skin looks a lot better. Obviously I have this like little breakout but for the most part, I think it looks a ton better. She said that we brought all the scars to the surface because before everything was kind of like in there and my skin was like a little bit dented because I had picked up my face and that's what gave me the scars. So don't pick your acne because you will get acne scars. Don't do it because then you have to go through things that are not very fun like this. Again, I have to do another peel to see like pretty much perfect skin, which I don't mind. It was like kind of awful, but it's definitely worth it. I'm really happy with the result of this. Um, and clearing your skin does take time, so it can't be like it's not some miraculous like I all of a sudden have clear skin, but it does look like so much better. If you're looking for a good place to get a facial or if you're looking into getting a peel because you have acne scars, I will leave a link to Healy's website down below. If you don't live in the LA area, you can order her products online and that is a great start to clearing your skin. For me, my skin is very important to me at this point, so paying for a facial, paying for a peel, you know, getting products that actually work is really important to me and definitely really worth it. You know, your skin is so important. It's really important that you take care of your skin. So I know that a lot of you are going to be like, oh, well, I can't afford a facial, but you know, save up your money. Don't eat fast food. Don't buy yourself like a shirt that you love and save up money to get a facial because taking care of your skin is like one of the most important things and I can't stress that enough for a while I was not doing that and you see where that got me and if you do live in the LA area and you're looking for someone to get a facial or if you need a peel or she does permanent makeup and eyelash tinting and eyebrow tinting and all of that I will leave you know her info down below and you guys can check her out and tell her that I sent you she is my skin savior this has been a fun journey I'm glad it's over, and I will see you guys later. Bye! Mwah.